Wrapping up College Week this week, of course, the Internet can be a tremendous tool for students to use for research and for finding information and things along those lines, but there are dangers there as well. We're joined this morning by Jeffrey Seglin, a professor of publishing from Emerson College in Boston. Let's talk about the temptation students face when it comes to plagiarism and the Internet. And, uh, Jeffrey, first of all, thanks for coming sure. in. How big of a problem is this? How much are you seeing this at Emerson, and how much are you hearing about it from your colleagues at other schools? I, I don't see it a lot at Emerson. Um, as a, it's, Emerson's typically a communication school, and, and people go, into being journalists or writers don't want to ruin their careers before they start but but it is a problem more and more that we hear about at other schools where it's getting caught and you've actually had some of your works uh, lifted along the line. Well, it's, it's um, you know, some of, the co some of the feature articles I've written have shown up on these term paper sites. So if I, I, write, I write about business ethics and about ethics in general. They've shown up as ethics papers on the site. And I, having written the pieces, I'm not sure I'd use them as term papers. <laughs> so whoever <laughs> buys them deserves what they get. People go and they buy a term paper. That's yes. obvious plagiarism. But there are other forms of plagiarism. May maybe kids aren't, aren't aware of. What actually constitutes plagiarism? Well, the most obvious form is taking somebody else's work and passing it off as your own. Um, but it's also um, stealing ideas. Um, so if you've used ideas from, uh, from another uh, person's um, article or paper and haven't cited those and given the source, that, that can mm -hmm. constitute plagiarism. Um, it also can be um, something as simple as when you have quotes in an article that someone else has written, and you don't attribute, you've not done those right, attributions. Attribution is key attribution here. Is very Where it came from, note yep. it, and it's it. simple to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, that's the thing about it. Even if it's if it's in a journalistic piece and not in an academic, if it's in an academic paper, you'd footnote it, um, the the citation without lifting it directly. If it's in a journalistic piece, you just say as reported in the Herald or as it reported in the Globe or as reported on Fox mm -hmm. 25. Do you think? Uh, the kids do this now because you see about stuff in the New York Times, we've seen things in the Globes, there are stories all over the place right. where this has happened before. Do you think students look at that and say, eh, you know what, these major publications, major news gathering organizations have pulled this stuff. I'm a college student, why can't I do it too? I, I, you know, I'd like to think that's not the case. I think that, uh, I think that they might have pulled it, but they've, they've actually, if, they, if places have done this, there have been severe ramifications as a result of mm -hmm. like the, the uh, um, the fabrication that's gone on in the place. It's not a deliberate attempt by students. And you think it's more just uh, they don't know what to do. Maybe well, in some cases, I think it's lazy. I mean, yeah. when it's outright and it's, and it's and it's stealing. In some in other cases, I think in the gray area where you're with citation and stuff, I think that maybe as professors we need to do a better job of educating them about you cannot take someone else's ideas or even. Um, even paraphrase without citing the source. And there have been professors who've fallen into that trap too. There have yeah. been, and that's been the problem. I think that's what students might see more than the newspapers sure. who do it. They might see professors or, or, or administrators who lift a speech from someplace else and get caught doing it, and the ramifications for the for the acad for the academic and the professor are not as great as they would be for the student, and that's just wrong. The, 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 so the level of the, playing field there is right, the and the punishment should be as mm -hmm. great for the even, even more so because the, the professors no are setting an example. Well, you mentioned that you've seen uh, some of the newspapers. And, and reporters that have, have been uh, handling the consequences of fallout for being caught uh, plagiarizing. What, what does a student face? If that happens to a student, they happen to get caught, what, is there expulsion? Are they kicked out of right. school? Right. Well, it varies, from, it varies from school to school, and there's usually a hearing about it, but it, it automatically would be a failure, obviously, on that, on that paper and presumably in that course. And, and it, it can result in expulsion from the school um, if, if, if it's done for academic work. Um, there's the, all of the colleges are careful to have a board to find out what the process was mm -hmm. of going through and how it happened, but it can result in expulsion. Now, if you're a student and you're unsure of what to do and you're unsure if maybe you know you, you don't know if you've plagiarized or you have some questions or concerns, what's the best way for a student to to, to get that address? Can someone read through it and before it's turned in say, hey, look, you know, you, you have to tell me where this came from? Or right. How would that? Well, work? I think any any student, at least this is the way we do it at Emerson. I'd like to th think this is how most colleges run. Any student can talk to a professor and say, look, I have these sources. I'm not quite sure how to work this in because. I've heard students say anything from it sounds clunky to put the citation mm -hmm. in there, which is not an excuse not to do it. So uh, the first thing for a student to do is to talk to the professor and say, I have these sources. How do I work them in? It's not a, it's not a straight quote from this source, but I need to attribute it. How do I do it? Mm -hmm. So the professor has a responsibility to respond to the student in those type of questions. So that's the first. And at the beginning, we mentioned the Internet is a place where people go for information. There's also a lot of misinformation right. on there. How difficult is it now for students to factor in citing the internet. You have to cite that site right. and what if that information is inaccurate? How, how do schools look at that? Well, the, you know, the largest example is the Wikipedia site, which is the online encyclopedia yeah. where you, anybody can add on to it. So um, at least with um, students that I have, most of those um, entries have a, a 
primary source on the bottom about saying where they got that information from. The students should always check the primary source. That's the only sure thing about it. But Wikipedia does something that makes it really easy to make a mistake. They now have something on the left-hand side of the page which footnotes it mm -hmm. for the students. So you can footnote it and it'll be cited, but it's inaccurate. So it's, so it's, still, it's not really <laughs> so they have a different problem. Right, right. Right. But bottom line here for students especially, just be careful, be thorough, Take extra time and make sure, you know, read it, reread it, make sure everything in there well, the should be Well, the first thing is don't steal. I right. mean, never steal somebody else's work. And then the other thing right. is seek help when you have it. And I also think some of it falls on colleges to do a better job of educating students about what, what those uh, areas are that are the gray areas. All right. Well, good information. Jeffrey yes, Douglas from Richardson College. We thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by and joining us this thank morning. You. We wrap up College Week. We've got to take a time out. We'll continue here on the Fox 25 Morning News.